Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Molly, Molly, come on. It's time for school. Huh, what? No, no, I'm not going. Ugh, come on, Molly. Your sister has already been up for an hour. Oh, Daisy's so perfect. Ugh, but I'm not. Molly, get out of bed right now, or you're going to be grounded on Saturday and can't go to the mall. Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. All right, go on, let's go brush your teeth and get breakfast and all the stuff you need to do before school. Ugh, oh, man, I still haven't even taken care of some of my Christmas decorations. <laughs> Oopsie. I took care of my decorations three months ago. I took care of my decorations three months ago. I'm so perfect, man. Okay, Molly, would you like some cereal? <laughs> cereal? Boring. Well, it's all I have time to make today. I have to go to work early, and you have to sit down and eat. Don't stand up. Daisy, are you all ready for that test? Show me, Molly. Molly, how about you? Uh, I didn't ask. It was Mom. Okay, yeah, Mom, I'm ready. I studied for two hours, but I was saying, Molly, are you ready? Um, but, uh, uh... Um, um, Molly, that doesn't sound very ready. Yeah, Molly, did you study? Uh, um, 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 I don't know how to answer that. I could tell, Molly, I think your brain had a fart. <laughs> very funny, Daisy. Ugh, Molly, you didn't study again? One more failed grade and you're, you're going to have detention and you're going to be grounded at home. Oh, man. Well, Molly, all you had to do was study like me. And I also managed to do my hair and put on this adorable outfit and paint my nails. Well, my toenails. I really didn't have time for a manicure, but maybe tonight. Ugh, aren't you just so pretty and perfect? Ugh. Ugh. Molly, what has gotten into you? Well, no one can be as pretty or perfect as Daisy. I'll never measure up. Oh, Molly, you don't have to be anything but yourself. You're beautiful and you're wonderful just as you are. But you need to do your homework a little bit more. Well, everybody's always like, Daisy's so great. She gets good grades and look at her pigtails. They're so cute. And Daisy has a cute new outfit and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just Molly. Oh, Molly, I love that you're Molly. Besides, I think you're wonderful. But it reminds me of when I was your age. Really? Why? Well, your Aunt Dora was always so perfect and so pretty. And I just felt like, well, Laura. Really? Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh my gosh, I look so adorable for school today. My new outfit looks amazing on me and my hair looks so perfect. Ah! And I also study for the science test, so pretty much I'm going to have the best day of high school ever. Uh, why are you being so loud, Dora? Uh, I got up an hour early just so I could do my hair and put on this cute outfit. Oh, I'm, I'm wearing what I slept in. Is that good enough for school? Laura, ew. How are you ever going to be popular if, if you just wear that to school? What? I like the unicorn. I think it's cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, you should totally follow me to the mall and I'll just like take pity on you and get you some new clothes. What? No, I like my clothes. My clothes are cute and uh, I don't want to have to wake up early to do anything like crazy with my hair. I mean, I already dyed it rainbow, which I think was pretty cool. Laura, that was so last year to have your hair rainbow. Ugh. Well, well, I... I, 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 I'm not as perfect or as pretty as you, okay? I mean, not everyone can be like you, Dora. <laughs> <sighs> the 
good teenage years. Boy, those were kind of rough. Wow, Mom, you felt exactly like I do. Yeah, I totally did. But but you ended your story where you were crying and 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 that was horrible. What happened next? Well, it just so happened that your dad noticed me at school. Dora was so jealous. She really liked your dad, but he liked me instead. Then she realized that your dad was kind of, well, geeky. And she was like, whatever. I'm totally going to date the popular football player or whatever. Anyway, um, your dad and I just like went out on dates and we had so much fun. And I realized that I was pretty cool all on my own. I mean, Dora might have been super popular, but I don't know. Your dad and I just had so much fun. And then eventually we got married and had kids and, you know, all that stuff. And my life's pretty amazing just as it is. Really? You you don't still want to be like Aunt Dora, who's like really cool and perfect and... What? No, I don't want to be like your Aunt Dora. I'm me, Laura. Yeah, I know, but Aunt Dora's really awesome. She has an amazing, like, penthouse apartment and... Look at our house, Molly. It is so cool. Well... Yeah, it is pretty cool. And guess what, Mom? You are beautiful. And you're cool. And you're special. Oh, thanks, Molly. Thanks for making me feel better, Mom. You're the best mom ever. Sure, but you're still not getting out of detention if you fail your science test. Oh, man. <laughs> nice one, Molly. Nice one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm late for English class. Oh, man. Good morning, Molly. Nice of you to join us. Sorry I'm late. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I didn't mean to be. I just kind of overslept again. Molly, you're always oversleeping. I know, I can't help it. I just like to sleep. Kind of more than I like school. Okay, class. Well, you guys are the only ones here today. What? Did everybody oversleep? No. It seems that there's a stomach bug going around and you two are the only one that didn't catch it. Oh, man. I kind of wish I didn't catch it because I don't want to be at school right now. Um, uh, Molly, that sounds like a horrible thing to say because if you had the stomach flu, you would feel awful. Well, I feel pretty awful having to be in this English class right now. <laughs> When's lunch? Molly, shh. You don't want to get detention. Remember what today is? Oh, yeah, Brookie. OMG. We're going to go shopping at the mall for the prom. That's right. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to pick out my dress with you. Yeah, me either. Okay, girls. Enough conversation about the prom. We're going to take a test. What? A test? You say that like it's some big surprise. Like it's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing because you studied, right, Molly? Uh, eh, well, uh, Molly, you knew we were having a test today. <gasps> Uh-oh, I have the hiccups. <gasps> okay, I'm going to give you the test and then I have to go out to the water fountain and get a drink. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think the teacher is here to the school nurse. Bye, Mrs. Smith. <gasps> No cheating, you two. Molly, did you hear that? We are the only ones here because everyone has a stomach bug. I know, it's crazy, right? And this teacher still gave us a test. Well, we better get started on it, Molly. Yeah, guess you're right. We'll talk about what we want our prom dress to look like afterwards. Good idea, Molly, good idea. <sighs> I want my prom dress to be beautiful and maybe sparkly too. Molly, focus on this test. Focus on this test. My dress is going to be so beautiful. It, it, it's going to be the most beautiful dress at the entire prom. I can just see it now. And now announcing the beautiful prom queen, Molly. Give it up for Molly. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh, I have the most beautiful prom dress and I'm prom queen. This night couldn't get any better. Ah, I'm so happy. Molly, Molly, it's time to hand in your test. Molly, are you daydreaming? Who, oh, me, me? Oh, no, 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 I wasn't. Molly, it doesn't look like you've completed half the test, but the time is up. I'm sorry, I, I was... Molly, you've got to stop doing this daydreaming thing. I've given you more than enough time to complete the test. Please hand it in. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Okay, guys, I'm going to grade your tests. I'd like you to sit quietly at your desk and read, please. Molly, what book are you reading for this class? I'm reading, um... The the uh the Hobbit series. Me too, Molly. It's amazing, right? Yeah, I just gotta pull it out of my backpack. Where did it go? Okay, I have so much stuff in my backpack. Like, I don't even know where my books are. Molly, you have like a million snacks. Why do you have so many snacks? Because a girl's gotta be eating snacks when she's hungry. That's why. Oh boy, Molly. You and your stomach. Brookie. Yeah, Molly? 
I think I might have failed this test. Oh, no, Molly. Okay, everybody, the tests are done. Well, just the two of you. Oh, no, don't tell me I have the hiccups again. Oh. Okay, well, let me just make this quick. Brookie, you got a 95. Woohoo! Awesome! And Molly, you got a 60. You failed. You have to stay after class for detention because I need to help you. What? No, I, I have plans. I can't. <gasps> Sorry, Molly. I have to go to the water <gasps> fountain again. I have <gasps> hiccups. Rookie, I can't go to the mall with you. I'm sorry, Molly, but maybe um we could pick out our prom dresses together next year. Yeah. I guess. Oh my gosh, I love them all. Okay, the first thing I need to do is find the most beautiful prom dress on the entire planet. Whoa, this store has a stage as a dressing room. This is super cool. It makes me feel like a star. Okay, time to try on prom dresses. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I really like this one, but what a about this one. Oh, also beautiful. The shoes and accessories are so awesome. But I think my favorite of all is this one. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna win prom queen in this one. I'm starving. I'll just wear my prom dress over to the food court and get something delicious. Luke, is that you? Brookie, what, what are you doing here? Oh, hey. Um, well, I was just getting my dress for prom. Holy guacamole! You look beautiful in that dress. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite one that I tried on. Well, well, you just look like so amazing, like, like you're gonna win prom queen. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if I'll win prom queen, but I hope so. Yeah, you definitely are. Hey, um, I have a question. Um, wasn't sure who I was gonna ask to prom, but you're here and we're friends, and d d do you have a date? Me? Oh, no, I, I didn't have anyone ask me yet. Oh, well, that's kind of perfect because I was thinking since we're friends, we could go to prom together. Really? Finally, I'm out of detention. Hopefully I made it to the mall in time in order to pick out prom dresses with Brookie. What, what's she doing in the food court with Luke? I'd love to go to prom with you, Luke. I think it would be so much fun. Wait, what? They're going to prom together? Well, we have to pick out matching stuff. Like, you have this beautiful red dress, and I should wear, like, a, a tuxedo with a red tie. Is she wearing my prom dress of my dreams? What? No! This, this, she's, she's going with Luke, my crush? That's not even right. She's my best friend. Why would she do that to me? Exactly, Luke. We should totally wear matching outfits since we're going to the prom together. Oh, M, G, ah! Molly, was that you? Molly! Can't believe Brookie. So rude that she's going to the prom with my, my, my love of my life! This has been the worst day ever. I just need to eat some ice cream. That'll make me feel better. It's gonna be a double scoop ice cream too. I don't even care. I'm just gonna eat it and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> Can't believe she's taking Luke to the prom. It's so rude. Daisy, I don't know why you always forget your key. Good grief. I have to let her in like every day because she always forgets her house key. <gasps> it's not Daisy, it's Brookie. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the lights. I'm gonna pretend I'm not here. I don't wanna talk to her. Rude. She's not even like my friend anymore. I just don't even like her anymore. Molly, are you home? I thought I heard you yelling at the mall and, 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 and I was wondering, are you okay? Molly? Oh well, I guess she's not home yet. Well... Maybe I'll go down somewhere to the park or something. I'm just gonna go to the park. Maybe she won't bother me there since she's like stalking my house. Yes, the park! Oh no, it's Brookie. Okay, maybe if I just walk away really quietly, she won't even know I'm here. Molly, is that you? Molly! Oh man. Hey Molly, I was worried about you. I thought I heard you yelling at the mall earlier. What? No, that wasn't me. Molly, I saw you. Huh? No, it wasn't. I tried to go by your house, but no one was there. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. Whatever. Molly, you're acting really grumpy. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, okay? Nothing. Um, Molly, it looks like your smile isn't even really genuine. Tell me what's really going on. I'm your friend. I don't have anything going on, okay? All right. Um, fine. Let, let's just play hide and seek, okay? That sounds like so much fun. You can hide first. Go ahead, Brookie. I'm gonna go count. Okay, Molly. One, two, three. Goodbye. Maybe now she'll be gone for a long time. And I don't have to deal with her following me everywhere. <laughs> she She'll never think to look in here. Ooh, it's kind of stinky. I hope she finds me quickly. <laughs> uh, is that a rotten banana? Ew! Ugh, 
What is taking Molly so long? Must be I found a really good hiding space here. She's just not finding me. Ugh, so smelly down here. Come on, Molly, find me. I can't believe it, Brittany. I can't believe it, Brittany. He asked Hannah to the prom. I'm heartbroken. I know what you mean, Stacy. I know what you mean. I really feel this show, Brooke High. I feel it in my soul. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair that Brookie got as of the prom. By the love of my life. Seriously? Could my day be any worse? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna eat some ice cream now. I'm gonna eat some ice cream too. Mm. Okay, that kind of makes me feel better. Well, I might as well get comfy since it seems like Molly's taking forever to find me. Huh, it feels like it's been like three hours. Is she ever gonna find me in here? Uh, let's see, I've got to try to remember my locker combination and I always forget it. Hey, Brookie, good morning. I've been thinking about prom all night. Me too. Luke, this is going to be so much fun. What? Seriously? They have to talk about this right outside my locker? I know, it's going to be a blast. And I just want to let you know I got my tux last night, so my tie matches your dress. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm also going to get you a beautiful flower corsage. And I was thinking, I could make it red and white. What do you think? That sounds amazing. I'm also going to get you a boutonniere, so I'll make it match. Great. Do you like roses? Does she like roses? Ooh. I don't think she likes flowers. Yeah, I love flowers, Luke. Whatever. Well, we better get to class. Brookie, this is going to be so much fun. I couldn't agree more, Luke. Oh my gosh. We're going to prom. This is going to be so cool. Well, I better get to math class. Better get to math class. I better steal my friend's boyfriend. <laughs> well, I better get to math class myself before the teacher gets there. Hey, Molly, good morning. Yeah, whatever. Molly, why are you talking like that? Because I said I don't want to have a conversation. Um, Molly, you never said that. Well, just turn around and don't talk to me. Molly, what's gotten into you, Molly? You just left me hiding for hours yesterday. By the way, I picked a really good spot. It was in a dumpster, but it took me like an hour to wash the rotten banana smell out of my hair. Whatever. Maybe you belonged in the dumpster. What? What's come over you, Molly? Is this some sort of prank? No, it's not a prank. I just I don't like you anymore. You're, you're not my best friend anymore. Molly, wh why are you saying that? That's that's really mean. Well, maybe you're really mean, so I don't want to be your friend anymore. From this point on, we are nothing. We're not friends. We're nothing. Molly. Okay, fine. <laughs> Molly, what has gotten into you? What's gotten into me? What's gotten into you, Luke? Molly, are you feeling okay? Did you get a bonk on your head? Bookie's been your best friend since you were little. You're just not going to be your friend anymore, and you're not even going to tell her why? I guess I just, I feel... I feel really mad. Well, don't tell me, Molly. Go tell your friend what she did so you guys can make up. This is just wrong. Yeah, I guess you're right. I probably should go tell her. Okay. Whoa, 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 Molly. <laughs> Be careful running into the math teacher. You're late. Detention, Mr. Smith. Oh, very funny, Molly. Only kids can get detention for being late, not teachers. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Molly, get back here. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, make it quick. What am I going to say to Brookie? What am I going to say? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Okay, I'll just be honest. I'll just be honest with her. Brookie? Go away, Molly. You're the meanest person ever. Brookie, oh my gosh. Okay, I was really harsh. I'm s I'm sorry, but I have a reason. I'm very mad right now. And my feelings are really hurt. Talking about having hurt feelings. You don't want to be my friend anymore. Brookie, okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. You decided to go to the prom with Luke and I'm really upset about it. What? What are you talking about? You, you don't know that I have a crush on Luke? Not really, Molly, but um, Luke and I just decided to go because no one else asked us and well, we didn't want to go alone, so we thought we'd go as friends. But, but Luke is my crush. He can't go to the prom with you. He's supposed to go to the prom with me. Oh my gosh, Molly, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I already said yes, but you could ride in the limo with us and we just go as friends. Really? Yeah, Molly. Why didn't you talk to me about this? I guess I just felt so jealous. I wasn't thinking straight. I'm so sorry, Brookie. I'd understand if you didn't want to be my friend ever again. Well, Molly, what you said to me really hurt my feelings. I know. Probably don't want to be my friend anymore, right? Um, that's not true at all, Molly. You're still my best friend. Really? You'll forgive me? Of course I will, Molly, but you should talk to me before you just go crazy. I mean, I'm not that horrible. I I would have understood. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just really, 
really jealous. Molly, if you had told me Luke was your crush, I totally would have said no to going to the prom with him. But come on, we could all go together. Are you sure Luke wants to do that? Molly, I think we both know he has a crush on you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not joking, Molly. He talks about you all the time. Really? Yeah, Molly. Come on, we'll go tell him that we're gonna all go to prom together. Let's see his reaction. Brookie, are you sure you forgive me? Of course I do, Molly. Everybody makes a mistake. Thanks, Brookie. You really are my best friend. And you're mine, Molly. Now come on, let's go talk to him. Oh, nice of you to join us, Molly. Uh, yeah, sure, Mr. Smith. Hey, Luke. Would you be cool if Molly came along with us to prom in the limo and stuff? Would I ever? That'd be amazing. Molly, we could all go as friends or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. Or whatever. Molly, not kidding! School bus is here! Oh man! I'm late! I'm late! I'm late! Okay, it's okay. I can still get to school on time. I think, I think, I think. Alright, um, I'm starving, so I've gotta grab a muffin or something. Oh man, I gotta eat a banana. Oh well, I gotta eat something. <laughs> okay, I just gotta fly out. I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't drive away without me! <gasps> oh no! I forgot my backpack! Oh man, I've almost forgot all of my homework. Wait, now where'd I put my backpack? Oh my god, where's my backpack? Ah! Bye, Molly! The sc school bus is leaving! Oh man, I gotta walk to school. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna get detention. I'm gonna get expelled. This is so bad! Oh wait, I know where I left my backpack. <laughs> what? I had to go to the bathroom and I did my homework while I was on the potty. <laughs> I call that multitasking. Oh, I made it in time. I can't even believe it right now. Hey, Molly. Nice of you to join us. Molly, you actually made it to school on time. Go you. Yeah, I don't even know how I did it because I got up late. The school bus left without me. Then I forgot that my homework was in the toilet. What? Your homework is in the toilet? <laughs> yep, right in the toilet with the poo-poo. Molly! <laughs> Just kidding. I was by the toilet in my backpack because, um, well, I was in there and I just did my homework while I was on the toilet. Oh, um, Molly, too much information. I don't need to know that. Yeah, Molly, whatever. <sighs> All right, well, I'm here. I just have to go to my locker and get my, um, my math book. Well, Molly, um, if you have to go to the bathroom, go now because I'm sure Mr. Smith's going to give us a pop quiz. Good point. Uh, yeah, I'd hate to have to go to the bathroom right in the middle of class. I'm trying to be a good student. I'm trying anyway. I didn't say it was gonna be, but I'm trying. I did not want to take any chances in um, accidentally dropping my homework down the toilet. <laughs> Don't ask. That's actually happened to me before. So I decided to leave it outside the bathroom. And I can't have any accidents. Whose homework is this? Oh, it's Molly's. Wait, didn't the teacher say yesterday if she didn't hand in her homework, she would be expelled? Sarah, th th that's my homework. Give it to me. Not a chance, loser. See you. Sarah, give me that. That's my homework. I, I need that, Sarah. <laughs> See you later, loser. What? Did you just put that in the pizza? Oh my gosh, now I gotta dig all the pepperoni off of it. Oh, this day is going terribly. Well, I guess I could just eat the pizza mm. oh, yeah, and find the homework inside of it. Mm. That pizza's good. Attention students, please remember that no students are allowed in the teacher's faculty room. No students are allowed. If you are caught in the teacher faculty room, Dire quons consequence consequences That's what I was trying to say will happen. <laughs> the principal can't talk. He's totally tongue tied. Mm. Wait, wait, I see my homework! I see it! Dun, da, da, da. Okay, I think I'll just take the elevator down because I don't have time to go all the way down the stairs and around and okay. The the elevator just be faster. Ugh, this elevator is creepy. It's so dark in here. Ugh, I don't like it at all. No wonder students don't like to come in here and always say how it's haunted. Uh, uh, ah! Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh. Oh 
thought that was just my stomach. That sounded really creepy. Well, I should put my homework away in my backpack. That way nothing bad can happen to it. Uh... Ah! This elevator is haunted! Come on, come on, make it to the next floor. Come on, come on! Oh my gosh. I think the elevator's jammed. Ah! Let me out of here! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? I'm stuck in an elevator, I'm stuck in an elevator! No, I'm gonna be late for class! Oh my gosh! Wait, I have my cell phone. I'll just text Daisy. What? No signal? Come on! Come on, what's wrong with this thing? Oh my gosh, this elevator has no signal. It's definitely haunted. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna stress eat right now. Mm. That pizza makes everything better. Uh, help me. Ah, did that ghost just say help me? Okay, I've gotta get out of here. What should I do? Um, I think the elevator shaft leads into the teacher's lounge. I'm not supposed to go into the faculty room, but this is an emergency. Well, I guess there's just one way, and that's down! Oh, whoa. This elevator shaft is so creepy. Okay, um, help me. Uh, I don't see anybody behind me. Well, that's because they're a ghost, and I can't see them, but I can hear them, which is creepy enough. Oh, my gosh. Wait, uh, um... Do I go down or over? Well, I'm not sure I can even make it over. Okay, um, here we go! Oh! Okay, I just gotta keep going. Oh my gosh, this is gonna lead right up to the teacher's lounge. I bet a million dollars. <laughs> I've jammed that elevator good. Molly will definitely get expelled from school now. <laughs> Psst, Daisy! Yeah, fuck you, what is it? Mr. Smith will be here any minute. Where's Molly? She had to go to the bathroom. Okay, but it doesn't take 40 minutes to go to the bathroom. Well, it hasn't been 40 minutes, but it has been a long time. Maybe I should go check on him. Yeah, I think we both should. Well, let's wait till Mr. Smith gets here so we can tell him that maybe she's sick or something. What? What? What is this place? This is the teacher's faculty room? It looks like candy land! Holy guacamole! It's raining candy canes! OMG! This place looks amazing! Mmm, look at all those chocolates! Mmm! Mmm! Hot chocolate in the fountains? Yes, please! Oh my gosh! Look at these rubber duckies! Oh, I have to stand on one! I have to stand on one! Uh oh, I'm too chubby, I can't get up there! Okay, let's try again! I am king of the world on this rubber ducky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's making me a little bit seasick. Whoa. Oh, man. Someone spilled their ice cream. That's just sad. This place, though. Wait. Why do I have an ice cream on my head? Okay. It must have rained ice cream. And now uh, I have ice cream on my head. What? Giant slices of pizza? Oh my gosh! This is the best day of my life! Mmm, this is so good. I can't even believe it. Oh, mmm, that is delicious. Mmm, mmm. I didn't take a piece to go. Well, rubber ducky, whoopsie. Mmm. No wonder the teacher always wants to hang out in the teacher's lounge. I would too. This place is amazing. Is that an ice cream truck? What? They have it so much better than the students. We don't ever get to have stuff like this. All we get is study hall and detention. Attention, students. There's been a security breach into the teacher's faculty room. We are sending in backup. What? What does that mean? Uh-oh. Sounds like I've been caught. Where can I hide? <gasps> Look at that gingerbread house. Maybe I can find a closet or something and, and hide in there. Ooh, gumdrops. Mmm. I love gumdrops. Okay, let's... Ah! What, what is that? Hello, I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> is he cooking up a mini Santa? No one can kill like the gingerbread can. Uh, is this the reinforcements they were talking about? Uh-huh. And now is 
soon as I can figure out where you are, it's time for you to die. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my gosh, can you come out of the gingerbread house? Of course I can. <laughs> you better run. Ah! Ah! Molly? Molly, are you in here? Oh boy, where did Molly go? She's probably just um sick because she ate like a big burrito for breakfast or something. No, she's not in either of the stalls. Where could she be? Molly, what's wrong? It looks like you just saw a ghost. Yeah, Molly, are you okay? Hi, hi, Molly, you're speaking gibberish. Uh, we told Mr. Smith you have a tummy ache. Yeah, Molly, do you? Or did you get a concussion? You're acting funny. Molly, calm down. What is wrong with you? There's something creepy in the elevator. Molly, students don't take the elevator. Only staff takes the elevator. Well, I needed to because I was in a hurry and I didn't think I could make it down the stairs in math class in time. Uh, Molly, it's not that far of a walk. It is when the Sarah the Bully tries to take your homework and makes you almost late. Well, Molly, you are very late. I know, that's because when I got in the elevator, there was a ghost. Whoa, that story is true? Yeah, she's like, help me, help me. Whoa, creepy. So then I went down the elevator shaft because the elevator got stuck. And, and I ended up in the teacher's, um, the teacher's lounge. The teacher's faculty room, Molly? Yeah, and it's nothing but a giant candy land. And there's pizza there, and there's lollipops, and candy canes rain from the sky. I even got an ice cream cone. What? You're not being honest. Yeah, Molly, that doesn't sound real. And then the teachers got mad because they knew that somebody was in there, and they sent this killer gingerbread man after me. Molly, I don't have time for this. It's time for math. Come on. I'm telling the truth. Wait, guys. Molly... This is quite the tall tale, even for you. But it, but it's true, Brookie! I have to get to class, Molly. You'll have to tell your fib to somebody else. Oh, nice of you to join us, Molly. Uh, how's your stomach? What? Oh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, I, I really hurt. That's okay, Molly, but do you have your homework? Actually, yes, I do. Wow, I'm impressed, Molly. Well, I guess you cannot have detention today. Oh, thank goodness. Something good happened after this awful and strange day. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. I know about the teacher's lounge. Wait, what? what? I still have no idea what you're talking about. The killer gingerbread man? All the candy? Have you lost your mind? I know, teacher. I know. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who both wanted to adopt babies. There was Laura, who was always happy, and there was Dora, who was always grumpy. The two of them wanted more than anything to adopt a baby of their own. And this is their story. I cannot wait to adopt a baby. This is going to be amazing, Dora. You won't be a better mom than I am, Laura. I'm going to be an amazing mom. I'm going to be an amazing mom too, Dora. No, because I'm popular and you're not. Well, what does being popular have to do with anything? I have been popular since high school and it's going to mean that I'm super good at being a mom. Uh, Dora, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Well, we'll just see who the better mom is, okay? Okay, Dora, if you really want to. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, new clients. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my twin, Dora. Whoa, you guys look so much alike. I don't think we look alike at all. Really? You both have blonde hair. I mean, your faces look almost identical. Well, sort of. I have the pretty face. You mean you have the grumpy face, Dora? What did you say, Laura? Nothing, Dora. Oh, you guys even act like twins. What can I do for you today? We're both here to adopt. Oh, well, that's great news. Well, but there's some bad news, too. 
What? Bad news? What? Um, we only have one child left to adopt. Okay, well, it'll be mine then. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two of you and there's only one child. Well, Laura didn't want to be a mom that much anyway. What? Yes, I did, Dora. Don't say that. Well, why don't you guys meet the child and maybe she'll help you decide who should be her mom. Great idea. Let's meet her. Ooh, it's the toy hippo. I love that. Hi, hippo. Hi, hippo. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite. Even if it does look like you're eating my hand. Ah, stop eating my hand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> you have a lot of personality, don't you? Who are you? I'm you. I'm Dora. I'm going to be your mom. Wait, what? Dora, she she doesn't even know us yet. Don't say you're going to be her mom yet. She, she, she'll get scared. What? Are, are you guys here to adopt me? Um, Molly, they're just here to meet you right now, honey. Um, but there's two of them and only one of you. Uh, yeah, I see that. So, so what's going on? Brittany, I, I don't like this. It, it's making me scared. I want to stay here with you, Brittany. Oh, Molly, you know you can't stay at the adoption center forever. Don't you want a mommy of your own? I want you to be my mommy. Oh, that's so sweet, Molly, but I just work here. You should see if you like Laura or Dora. You can choose which one you want to be your mom. Okay, I'll try it, Brittany. Okay, listen up. If you're going to be my mom. Whoa, this kid has an attitude. We're going to have to take care of that. Well, she's probably just scared, Dora. You're going to be my mom. You got to be nice. You got to give me ice cream. And you and you got to change my diapers. What? You're not potty trained? You can already talk. Why aren't you potty trained? Okay, you don't have to do that. I am potty trained. I was sort of wanting a baby. You're kind of grown up for me. Okay, well, I guess I can't choose a mom then because you don't want to be my mom. I could be your mom. I have a better idea. Why don't we each take her home and spend a day with her? And whoever she likes best, she can choose as her mom. Actually, Dora, that's a great idea. You think so? You're totally going to lose. Ah, <sighs> Dora, it's not really a competition. It's just to see who's the best mom for this little girl. What's your name? My name's Molly. Well, I'm Laura. But hopefully someday you'll call me mom. I'm Dora. You can call me Dora. Okay, Dora. I'll call you Dora. Well, who is going to take Molly home first? I'll take Molly. I always go first because I'm amazing. Now leave that silly hippo here. I don't want to leave hippo here. Actually, she can take hippo with her. No, she's too old for that toy. Come on. Okay. I guess I don't have to take hippo with me. Goodbye, hippo. You've meant the world to me. Ah! Oh, this is going really well, Dora. I'm sure she's going to choose you. Be quiet, Laura. She likes me, okay? Now, come on. Hurry up. Keep up. I'm trying, but my legs are shorter than yours, Dora. Whatever. That's such a lame excuse. Okay. I have to go shopping, so you can come along with me. Ooh, are we going to go shopping for toys? Not a chance, brat. Why are you calling me brat? Oh, I said that, like, very lovingly. Come on, brat. I don't know if I like her calling me a brat. That's not very nice. Oh, look. <laughs> Everything's on sale. It's just perfect. Ooh, I love that shirt. Um, Dora, could, could I have some new clothes? The orphanage doesn't have many outfits for me. No? What do I look like made of money? I don't have money to buy you clothes and me. And if it comes to you and me, it's definitely going to be me that buys stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go wait outside and get some fresh air. Ooh! A park! Dora! 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 What? I'm trying to shop and you're being really annoying. What do you want? Um, can we go to the park when you're done? Please, please, please? No, I'm busy. I'm thinking about going to get an ice cream. I'm super hungry. Ooh! Ice cream! My favorite! Come on, brat. Let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Look both ways, doll. You don't want to get hit by a car, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, you can get in my golf cart golf cart you don't have a real car this is a real car it's what the popular people drive around brookhaven whoa doesn't have a seatbelt though that seems kind of dangerous well i didn't think i was gonna have a kid so soon oh there's the ice cream shop oh that looks so delicious i'm gonna get one of every flavor well come on brat can we go to the arcade afterwards please dora please please i haven't been out of the orphanage ever 
No, sorry. This isn't like your special day out or something. What? No one's even working here? Well, I'll just take what I want then and leave the money. So rude. No one's even working. Mm, this is delicious. Uh, Dora, you forgot something. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put sprinkles on my ice cream. Pfft, duh. No, Dora. You forgot about me getting an ice cream. I don't have enough money for both of us to get an ice cream. Oh, are you going to share yours with my me? Absolutely not. Someone else licking your ice cream is the grossest thing ever. Ew. Now come here and sit down and be quiet, brat. Oh, look at the time, Dora. It's time for me to get back to the to the orphanage. Your time is up. What? It's only been two hours. I know, but um, see you later. Brat, come back here. You can't walk on your own. Get back here. I know my way. Oh, my gosh. She was like the worst mom ever. Huh, huh, oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that this is over with. I just want to go see Brittany. Brittany! Molly, how was your day with Dora? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not leaving the orphanage ever! Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to be the case. Molly, I promise I'm not like my sister. She's just evil. Yeah, she is. You're both evil twins. Brittany, don't make me go. Molly, maybe, maybe Laura isn't like Dora. Can you just give her an hour or two to try it out? I don't know. Your twin is evil! I know she is. She's so a brat. But I promise, Molly, I'm not like that. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll go with you. But only for an hour! Wow, an hour? That's a pretty tall order to have me show you that I'm going to be a great mom in an hour. But here goes nothing. Hmm. When I was little, I loved going to the park and swinging on the swings. Do you like to do that? I don't know. I've never been to the park before. I live in an orphanage. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. Come on. I'll show you how. You still know how to swing on a swing even though you're a grown up? Of course I do. I still have fun, you know. Whoa! Laura, this is so much fun! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting dizzy. It's best to get off if you get dizzy, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow, the swing hit me! Ah! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry you you got hurt on the swing. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Do you need a Band-Aid? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, though. Aw, it's okay. So, um, do you, um, need anything? What do you mean? Like, um, maybe some lunch? Ooh, lunch would be great. Or, or dinner, since it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I guess your time with Dora did take a lot of time up during the day, huh? It is time for dinner. Let's go to the Brooks Diner. Ooh, I always wanted to eat there. Look both ways, brat. What? What'd you say? Oh, that's what Dora said. Look both ways, brat. She called you a brat? Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry you had to, to go through that. Everything's going to be okay now, though. You seem really nice. You seem really nice, too. What are you going to order? I don't know. I just miss my hippo. Well, good thing I brought him along. <gasps> you brought my hippo? Oh my gosh, thanks so much. You shouldn't have to live without your stuffed animal. That's just mean. How's burger and fries sound? Delicious. Mmm, this is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this diner. It's my new favorite place to eat. I mean, I've only ever ate at the orphanage before, but mm, this is really good. I have to agree, it is pretty delicious. Well, what should we do now, Molly? Do you want to go pick out some new clothes? Really? Dora took me there, but she said I couldn't pick out anything. Well, I'm nothing like my evil twin sister. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, Molly. The hour's almost up. We have to hurry. We'll have to go on a super fast shopping spree. Look both ways, brat. Come on, Molly. Don't let anyone call you a brat. You're not a brat. But definitely look both ways. Wow, you're taking me to the Rockstar store? That's amazing. Yeah, let's pick out a brand new outfit for you. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Look at this alien outfit. This is so cute. Well, you can buy that if you want, Molly. What else do you like? Um, no, that's too grown up. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute too. And I need new pajamas. Okay, well, we'll take all three of these, please. Okay, let me just package that up for you. I'm going to wear this one, okay, Mom? 
I mean, Laura, did you just call me mom? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay, well, our hour is up. Come on, we have to go, Molly. Okay. Back to the orphanage I go. Molly, you're back. How did it go? I see you got a new outfit. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I had a great time. Of course she did. I knew she'd pick me. I'm the world's best mom. What? No, you're not, Dora. You're a terrible mom. I would never pick you if you were the last person on the planet. What? Don't talk to me like that, you little brat. Don't talk to my daughter that way, evil twin. What? She's not your daughter. Yes, I am. She's my mom. Oh, Molly, you picked a mom? That's amazing. I'm going to miss you, Brittany. You were like my first mom or my sister or something. But I really like Laura, and, and she's going to be my mom forever. Well, all we have to do is fill out the paperwork then. I am so offended right now. Ugh, this is so annoying. You're the worst twin ever. Tell me about it, Dora. You're so evil. Goodbye, Dora. Goodbye! Wait a minute. Does this mean she's my aunt? Well, yeah, technically, but we don't really have to hang out with her very much. Just maybe for an hour on Christmas. Oh, man. Well, if it means you get to be my mom, Laura, I guess I'll have to endure it. I'm so happy that I made a match today. You guys are going to be the perfect mom-daughter team. I think so, too. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Brittany! Come on, Mom. Let's go home. Wow! I'm actually going to be to class early today. I can't even believe it. I'm turning over a new leaf, and I'm becoming an amazing student. Oh, good morning, loser. Hey, don't call me a loser. It's a little too early in the morning to be called loser, okay? Can we wait till at least lunchtime, Sarah? I mean, seriously. Whatever. Losers say things like that all the time. Losery things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't even win with you, Sarah. You're 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 driving me crazy already. Oh, uh, you've you've got something on your back there, Molly. Let me just get it off so you don't look like well, a loser. Oh, oh. Well, that was kind of nice of you. Thank you, Sarah. Better get to class. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be late, right? Uh, no, I definitely wouldn't want to be late. To be or not to be late for class, Molly? That's the question. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted in the hall. Oh, I hate to give you detention again, Molly. Take your seat. Psst, Molly, Molly, you have something on your back. Oh, I know. Sarah picked it off for me. She was actually being kind of nice for a change. Uh, Molly, um, no, I definitely think she put something on your back. What? What are you talking about? Good thing the whole class isn't here yet. Yeah, where is the whole class? My goodness, I'm going to have to give everyone detention. What's on my back, Rookie? What's on my back? It says, kick me? Sarah, did you put a kick me sign on my back? What? No, of course I didn't. Now leave me alone. Can't you see I'm finishing my delicious Starbucks shake? Um, I don't care what you're doing right now because I am so angry. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're gonna what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Oh, she sprayed me with the fire extinguisher, Mrs. Smith. Oh my goodness, I've had enough of you two bickering and fighting all the time. After class, you both are going to go to the janitor's room and get brooms and start cleaning the entire school. But won't we miss class? Oh yeah, good point. After school, you both are going to stay afterwards and clean the entire school. Maybe if you guys work together and have some teamwork, you two can learn to get along. But she's the bully! Really? Because you just sprayed me with a fire extinguisher. Oh my goodness. I need a vacation. I really need a vacation. I can't believe this. Sarah, this is all your fault. Molly, um, I would sit down before Mrs. Smith gives you detention. Ugh, fine. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I know Sarah's been bullying you since, like, kindergarten. Yeah, I can't believe I've got to spend the evening cleaning this school. You know there's toilets here, right? I'm going to have to clean the poo-poo toilets. Oh, that does sound awful, Molly. 
do you still have that kick me sign on your back? I tried to take it off, but I think the me part is still stuck. Here, Molly, I'll help you get it off. There you go, Molly. <sighs> I'm so sorry again. I hope your time here with, with Sarah isn't too bad. Thanks. You're a really good friend, Rookie. I don't know how I'd make it without you. Well, call me when you get home. I will. Bye. Bye. Heidi ho there! You must be the student that's going to help me clean everything. <laughs> I get a night off and I get paid. Now I have one rule. No cell phones. What? No cell phones? But, 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 but I need my cell phone. Hand it over, Missy. I don't want you texting on the job. I also wouldn't want you, well, taking selfies in the boys' bathroom. Believe it or not, we've had that happen. Um, okay. Here's my phone. Oh, I hate to give this up. What if I need to talk to Brookie? I'm not giving up my iPad. Actually, yes you are, unless you want in-school suspension. <laughs> okay, fine. Here's my iPad. But I want it back. Don't be stealing it. Do I look like somebody that would steal your iPad? Uh, yeah. You look like super poor and stuff. Oh, I can't imagine why everyone calls you the school bully. All right, well, get started. The, uh, the mop bu buckets are in the janitor's room. Have a good night! <laughs> I'm gonna go to Starbrooks. This is all your fault that we're in this mess, Sarah. Whatever. Ugh. I'm just gonna go chill in the janitor's room. Probably has a bed in there to take a nap. Whoa, he does. You have to actually help me clean, Sarah. I don't think so. This is more like it. Oh, she is so annoying. All right, let me see. There's the mop bucket. I'm just gonna go over to the sink and fill everything up. Oh, I know what I forgot. The soap. Is there any any in here? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the supply closet. Sarah, the, 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 the door won't open. Whatever, you're just trying to prank me right now. No, the, the, the door, it's, it's, it's stuck. What? You better not be pranking me, or else. I'm not, try to open it yourself. Oh my gosh, well use your phone to call somebody. Uh, I can't, I gave it to the janitor. He didn't want me texting or taking self selfies in the boys' bathroom. We're, we're stuck in here? Well, let's scream at the top of our lungs. Ah! Ah, that's super loud. Well, how else am I going to get heard? Get me out of here. I can't be stuck in here with this loser. Oh, my gosh. I'm stuck in here with this loser. Hey, what? You passed out from that? Seriously? That's a little bit dramatic, don't you think? Actually, this could be a perfect time for you to get to know me better, Sarah. And then you could realize I'm not actually a loser. No, no. I, I can't do it. I'm going to die. I can't be stuck in here with this loser. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not actually a loser. Like, seriously, watch my epic dance moves. These are amazing. See? Not such a loser, right? I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Hey, those were good dance moves. What are you talking about? Okay, how about I sing you a song? No. No, see my eyes? I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead! Well, you're still talking, so you can't be that dead. And you st still can hear, so you can use your ears to listen to this amazing song. Oh, P-I-G-G-Y, a piggy is after me. Please, no more! P-I-G-G-Y. A piggy, won't you set me free? See how long I can hold the note. Whoa, I'm amazing, right? I'm not even a loser or anything. Only the coolest people in the world can hold notes this long. I'm even changing notes. Hear me, I'm so cool. Please, God, take me away from this awful place. Really? She's so dramatic. Okay, maybe music and dance isn't your thing. Uh, you want me to tell you a joke? How do you make a tissue dance? Give up, give up. <laughs> put a little boogie in it, put a little boogie in it. Get it, a boogie, a booger, get it. <laughs> hey, Sarah, look. If we're ever going to get out of here alive, we have to work together. No, I am... And done with the world! Yeah, she is.
she is really dramatic. All right. Well, let's see if there's any, like, escape hatches or anything. Hmm, doesn't seem to be. Maybe we could go down the sink or something. Oh. Sarah, I think this is going really well, don't you? I think after we get out of here, like, when the school gets back in session tomorrow morning, we could be, like, besties, don't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you guys are. I forgot my keys. Have you guys been stuck in here? Oh my gosh, thank God I'm finally going to be out of here. Huh, being stuck in here for 24 hours was just more than I could bear. 24 hours? You were in here for 24 minutes. Huh, being stuck even that long with Molly is torture. Seriously? I thought we were best friends now. Sarah, wait for me. Aren't we BFFs? Sarah! Where'd she go? Oh, wait, there she is. Sarah! Why are you running so fast? You know I eat too many cupcakes and I can't run that fast. Oh, you stay away from me! Loser! Oh. She still thinks I'm a loser. Well, I'll just have to plan to lock us into the janitor's room tomorrow for another 24 minutes. <laughs> Maybe she'll change her mind then. <laughs> from school in the rain ah plus i wanted to go outside and do something tonight i just didn't want to be stuck inside but i guess i'm stuck inside again okay cupcake we can't tell anybody about this secret what this sounds juicy <laughs> cupcake if anybody knew what was going on in here it would just blow their minds molly what are you doing are you eavesdropping on me me? No, never. I think she was. She was definitely eavesdropping on you, Daisy. Yeah, Cupcake says you were. Well, Cupcake, you're wrong. I wasn't. I was just um, looking at the wall right here because it, it needs a repair. Molly! I didn't hear anything, okay? Molly, stay out of my room. <sighs> Come on, Cupcake. I need to get a snack so we can power through more of this homework. I'll just be in here watching Brightly Colored Unicorn. Should I go in her room? I really want to. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go in. Nothing looks out of the ordinary, like, at all. Besides the fact she has a giant teddy bear in her bathroom. Weird. Molly, do you want a snack? Um, uh, uh sure. Molly, I have dance class in, like... An owl, so I'm gonna have a snack and I'm gonna power through some more homework and then I'm gonna leave. I don't think you should go anywhere in my room. Is that saying that I could still go, but you just don't think it's a good idea? No, I'm saying you cannot go in my room. Okay, um, I won't go in your room. Mmm, this looks delicious. Mmm. Thanks for the snack, Daisy. No problem, Molly. What could she have in there that would blow somebody's mind? It's gotta be something amazing. Hmm. Can't stop thinking about it. Can't stop thinking about it. Okay, I'm gonna play a game because obviously this is gonna drive me insane if I don't know what's in Daisy's room. So I'm just gonna play Piggy and try to distract myself. <laughs> ah! Piggy's gonna get me! Ah! Molly, I have to go to dance class. I'll see you later. Okay, Daisy, have fun. Do awesome. Is she gone? Okay, my sister's gone. There's something in her room that's just like gonna be crazy. I don't see anything. Wait a minute, where haven't I looked in her room? I've looked in the bathroom. I've looked all over in here. I forgot about her closet. Okay, hey, nothing looks out of the ordinary here. Wait a minute, what? What's that behind her? Her clothes? It looks like some sort of keypad. Wait, what? What could this go to? I'm gonna try to punch in the numbers. What would her code be? Hmm. She probably used cupcake as her password. C U P C A K. E. What? what happened? The lights went out. Oh, wait. I think I just forgot to pay the bill. 
Now that I paid the bill, I can go back and see exactly what's going on in Daisy's closet. Wait, did that code just open a door? Where does that go? Molly, I'm back from dance class. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. I don't want Daisy to know I was in here. Okay, okay, okay. Just gotta close the door really quick. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, turn on the TV. Okay, perfect. Molly, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just in here watching the brightly colored unicorn. <laughs> Nothing weird is, is going on here. Uh, okay, Molly. Yeah, I know. Okay, Cupcake, let's go get into our pajamas. It's been a long day. Molly, why is my closet door open? What? I, I don't know. Molly, did you go in my room and go in my closet when I told you not to? Oh, no. She's going to know our mind-blowing secret. What mind-blowing secret? Cupcake! Ugh, you are not supposed to say anything at all. Oopsie, sorry, Daisy, I didn't mean to. Okay, what's going on? Molly, you used the secret code and the door appeared, didn't you? Um, well, uh... Oh my gosh, Molly. Okay, but you can't tell anybody else, okay? OMG, what's going on here, Daisy? Molly, I found out that if I did uh, my science experiment just right, that I could open a door to another world. What? Yep. Do you want to see what world it is? I don't know about this, Daisy. Maybe we shouldn't show her. She might not be ready. Oh, I'm ready, all right. I'm ready. Molly, be careful! <laughs> Daisy? And what's going on? Molly, you're in Unicorn Land. And you're not only in Unicorn Land, you are Unicorn. What? The, you opened a magic portal in your closet to a Unicorn Land? Hello, everyone. Welcome. O-M-G. This is amazing. I'm going to run like the wind. I'm going to run like the wind. Molly, you have to be careful. If you stay here too long, you'll be a unicorn forever. What's wrong with that? This place is amazing. I love being a magical unicorn. Except for the fact that you'll miss your parents and baby Kira and your best friend, Brookie. She does have a point. Oh, should I stay in unicorn land? Or should I go back to being a human? You guys, I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below. Wow. I don't know. Molly, I think, I think maybe you should go back to being a human. Okay, but first I need to explore this land just a little bit. Ah. <laughs> Taking a swim. Gonna eat lots of sparkles and cupcakes. Molly, unicorns don't eat sparkles. Okay, well this unicorn does. I want sparkly cupcakes and I want them right now. Oh boy, you're an even bigger brat as a, as a unicorn than you are as a human. <laughs> Whatever, Daisy. My stomach says, Sparkles Unicorn, you need to have sparkly cupcakes. You named yourself Sparkles the Unicorn? Yeah, isn't that amazing? Oh, boy. <laughs> Baby Kira, come on, it's your first day at daycare! Wait a minute. Wait. Why am I wearing a diaper? Why am I wearing a diaper? I'm not supposed to be wearing a diaper. I'm not going to daycare, I'm a big kid. And also potty trained. <laughs> Molly, <laughs> you're wearing a diaper. Who are you laughing at, Daisy? You're wearing one too. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh, why am I wearing a giant diaper? <laughs> ah, apparently, Mom dropped us off at daycare, too. But I'm potty trained. I don't understand this. Yeah, baby Kira, you need to wear a diaper, but Daisy and I don't. Well, apparently, they thought that we weren't potty trained yet. Now we're going to be stuck in these itchy diapers all day. Yeah, they are kind of itchy. And they're hard to walk in. Molly, I can't believe this. It's so embarrassing. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hi, Nicholas. Oh, gosh. I hope none of, nobody sees me. I don't want anybody to see me in this giant diaper. 
Molly, it looks like you went um and had a little leak in your diaper. No, I didn't. That's just from sitting in the sand on the playground. So it is, Molly. So it is. Oh, my gosh. I have to go over here by myself so nobody recognizes me in this giant diaper. Why am I at daycare anyway? I mean, Jeepers Creepers. I'm a big kid now. I don't belong at daycare. I belong at regular school. Look at my diaper. It's like sticking down under the swing. <laughs> well, I guess having a diaper is kind of funny. I don't think it's funny at all. This isn't a good fashion look for me. I'm a fashionista, you know, and, and I can't be seen wearing a giant diaper like I'm a baby. Yeah, but remember when we were ba babies, Daisy? Yes, I remember it, Molly. We went to 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 by da to 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 da. Yeah, we went ga ga go go ga ga. And then when I didn't get something I wanted, I'd be like, wee! <laughs> exactly. Wee! Baby, care, be careful! You're going around and around and around. That's dangerous. Wee! This is so much fun. Hey, Molly, nice diaper. Well, Bella, you're wearing a diaper too. I know. Huh. I think this daycare provider thinks we're all supposed to be wearing diapers, even though we're potty trained. Whee! Baby Carol, would you be careful? Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's going to give me a heart attack right now. Okay, how do I get on the seesaw? Whoa. I don't know, but I die. I love your fake toes. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, wait a minute. You stole my spot on the seesaw. Sorry, Molly. You snooze, you lose. Oh, look at all these cute babies. Hi, shiny unicorn. Okay, baby Kira, that's enough of that. Okay, here, you want some of this strawberry? Okay, here you go. You have a strawberry? Oh, that's good. Here, eat it up. Uh-oh, diaper. Oh, no. no. I'm not changing your diaper. I've got one of my own to worry about. Yeah, tell the daycare provider that you need a diaper. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's see what else there is to do around here. Okay, there's this cool thing. Whoa! Soccer! Baby soccer! It's going to be so fun. <laughs> Look at me playing soccer in a diaper. Oh, how humiliating. <laughs> yeah! Go get me! I'm going to score a goal! That's probably because no one else is playing. So it's easier that way. Oh, this diaper's making it so I can't even run. Oh, how am I going to run after the soccer ball in this diaper? Literally feels like I'm wearing a giant pillow. I'll see if I can win, Molly. Oh, Daisy, it's getting dark out. It can only mean one thing. What's that, Molly? This nightmare is over. Well, almost. Yeah, mom should be off of work soon. Not soon enough. Daisy, you look hilarious in that diaper. Who are you laughing at, Molly? You're wearing a diaper, too. Oh, my gosh. Everybody's wearing a diaper. Don't look at me. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm wearing a diaper. Uh, Preston, it's, it's okay. Everybody, come on. Let's go inside now. It's getting dark out. Um, okay, but, um, can we take this diaper off? Absolutely not. I did not buy it, Now, come on, everyone. Let's go into the craft room. Ooh, crafts! I love doing crafts! Okay, what are we doing today? Oh, looks like we're gonna make some pictures. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, a toy! I love this toy! I'm so happy right now. I did not put my, my. No, this one's mine. Yeah. I can cry like a baby too. I'm wearing a diaper. Hmm. I'm hungry. Being a baby is a lot of work. Hmm. Yum. This watermelon is delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna have some cherries too. Excuse me, girls. 
Now is not snack time. Well, when were you planning on feeding us a snack? I'm starving. Um, you should have had a snack before you came to school. What? No. You don't even know what you're talking about right now. We need snacks. Snacks are important. Wee! This is what we your big fans. And you should pay to the fan. Oh, my gosh. How humiliating. There's Toy Hero fans in here that are going to see us in giant diapers. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not really funny. Not funny at all. Well, all we could do is eat a snack. Try to pretend this isn't happening. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Teacher said it's not snack time yet. I don't care, Molly. I'm a rebel. I'm gonna eat a snack. Yeah, me too. Hmm, that was good. Now I'm gonna have some chilies. Mom packed us lots of fruit. Yeah, she did. It's delicious. Little teddy bear, I love you. Oh, Molly, is that your teddy bear from when you were a baby? Yeah, it's Mr. Teddums. He's so adorable, isn't he? Yeah, you loved Mr. Teddums when you were so little. I know. You don't have one. Yes, I do. Mine's not named Mr. Teddums, though. See? What? Mom got you a Mr. Teddums? It was supposed to be just for me. <laughs> no chance at that, Molly. Get away! I don't want to even think about the fact that Mr. Tedham's ha Tedham says a clone. Well, Molly, they're just two win bills. Ugh, my sister has to have everything that I do. Okay, Mr. Tedham's, I'm over that. I did the papa da. Hey, what are you doing? I thought maybe she was going to try to, like, be a bully or something. No, everyone's pretty nice here, Molly. Ooh, some books. Maybe I'll read a book and pretend this day never happened. Molly, I think Mom will be here soon for us. She better be, and then she better explain to me why it is I'm in a giant diaper. Maybe because she thinks you're a giant baby. <laughs> wah, wah. I feel like crying over this. I did not play it down with your fans. Ooh, did not play that cool. Oh, baby Kara is a fan. Oh, that looks like one of the teachers in a typer. <laughs> That's just weird. Um, well, I'm not a teacher. I'm a toddler just like you. Okay, well, you look like a teacher with your glasses and stuff, but I guess not. Hi. Oh, it's okay. This looks like Luke's little brother right here or something. Oh, I can't believe all these fans are seeing me in my diaper. Oh, how humiliating. Molly, where are you going? I want to go in this locked door and see what's in there. Let me in! This full grown up suddenly. I still want to go in there. Okay, what's in here? Napping room. No one will find me in here. Dad, don't play. Dad, you dad, papa. Oh, look at these cribs. They look pretty comfy. <sighs> do 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 da do 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 Hopefully mom gets here soon. I can't believe I'm a giant baby. <laughs>I can't believe that Laura's gonna have her baby any day now. She's probably super hungry, so I'll make her a nice dinner. Hmm, I could make her cheeseburgers. I think she loves those. Ooh, we can have ice cream for dessert. Perfect. This is the perfect summer dinner. Laura's gonna be so excited. And now she's eating for two. <laughs> Whoa, I better not burn them. Laura would be so sad. Dan, Dan, is dinner almost ready? I'm, I'm so hungry. Yeah, it's coming right up, honey. <laughs> Just relax, put your feet up. Being pregnant's not easy. You can say that again. Here you go, my beautiful sweet wife. A cheeseburger, some Sprite, and we even have ice cream for dessert. What? A cheeseburger? But I don't want a cheeseburger. I wanted spaghetti and meatballs. But... I took all this time to make you dinner. I thought you'd be happy. Look, I even made some fries. Fries! I don't want fries! Holy smokes! Laura! What just happened? What are you even talking about? I didn't do anything. I just have a little bit of heartburn. Ugh. 
I hope this baby is born soon. Laura, I think you better go lay down. I don't think you're feeling very good. I'm feeling just fine. I just need some spaghetti and meatballs. Ah, this day is turning out to be the longest work day ever. Oh, hi, welcome to Brookhaven Grocery Store. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thank you. Uh, I just, I can't wait until I meet my baby. I'm just buying a bunch of stuff in preparation for her coming home. Oh, you're pregnant. Are you having a girl or a boy? A girl, I'm so excited. I would be too. Well, let me know if you need anything. I'll be right here behind the counter. Sure, thank you. La, 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 la. Okay, let's see. I need some Powerade and I need some apples. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, where's the milk? It's, it's usually in this cooler right here. Oh, I'm sorry. The milkman didn't come in today. Our shipment is running a day late. We should have it tomorrow. Wait, what? You're out of milk? I can't believe it! Whoa! You're b b b b b b breathing f f f f f fire! What? No, I'm not. I'm just... I'm feeling a little hot right now. It's very hot in here. Uh, yeah, because you just breathe fire at me like a dragon! What's wrong with you? What? There's nothing wrong with me. This grocery store stinks, though. You don't even have any milk. Uh, sorry, but... Maybe you could try the the Blacksburg grocery store in the next town over? Better idea. Bye. Oh, uh, excuse me. I don't want to go in your cart. Why are you sitting in my cart then? Um, wow. Angry customer. Oh, here comes Laura. L Laura, where's the groceries? I didn't get groceries. Wait, what? But I'm hungry. I told you. I didn't get groceries. Whoa, Laura, there you go, breathing fire again! <laughs> Dan, what, what's got into you? Why are you laying on the floor? Because you tried to breathe fire at me. I think this baby's making you super grumpy. Speaking of baby, my stomach hurts. I think it's time. Laura, uh, it's time? Time for the baby? Seriously? <laughs> Dan, stop freaking out. You have to drive me to the hospital. Our little girl, it's its time to meet her. Well, I hope when then she gets here, you're done breathing fire, because that was kind of scary. What? I didn't breathe fire. You don't even know you're doing it. It's pretty crazy. Look, I have our bag all packed. All we have to do is get in the car. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can I get some help over here? Please, please, emergency! What? what? What's going on? My wife, she's about to have a baby! Can someone hurry up? My stomach hurts! Okay, ma'am, just calm down. Calm down? I don't want to calm down! Whoa! What's going on with that? Is she part dragon? I don't know. Oh, she just started doing this the last couple of weeks. Doing what? What are you guys talking about? Hurry up! I'm gonna have my baby! Okay, we'll worry about breathing fire later. First, we have to make sure that this baby arrives into the world safely. Okay, and now I just need you to breathe. I am breathing! <sighs> sort of! <sighs> Miss Laura, I need you to calm down. I'm staying calm! Whoa, there's the fire again! That can't be normal. What's that all about? I don't know. You're the doctor. Why don't you tell us? Well, I've never seen this before. Maybe your wife is part dragon. What? No! Okay, well, I'm going to go get my stethoscope and everything we need because this baby is coming right away. Oh my gosh, Laura. Dan, she's beautiful. Oh my baby. She is so beautiful. Here you go. I'm sure she would like her mommy. Absolutely. I can't wait to hold her. Me either. What are you going to name her? Well, we talked about Molly. Do you still want to name her that, Dan? Yeah, let's do it. Aw. Hi, Molly. It seems like you have some pretty nice parents. <laughs> Whoa! Your baby <laughs> breathes fire! Wait a minute. The baby breathes fire. 
And Laura was breathing fire when she was pregnant. But, but she didn't breathe fire before. There's only one explanation for this, Dan and Laura. The baby made Laura breathe fire because your baby is a, well, a demon. What? Wait, what? Uh, 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 that can be right. I'm sorry, guys, but it is. She's definitely a demon. Let me see my baby. I don't believe you. Aw, she's too sweet to be a demon. I don't know how you could ever say such a thing. You're fired as my doctor. But, but I'm just telling you the truth. You heard my wife. You're fired as her doctor. Ah, uh, okay. But I'm definitely going to have to make note of this in the medical journals because I've never, ever... Goodbye, get out! Okay, fine. Ah, uh, some parents you just can't tell the truth to. Well... I guess I'll have to document this. Today, I helped a woman give birth to a baby demon. Yay! I love this show! It's my favorite! Look at the adorable panda! It's so cute! Oh, I've been cleaning this house all day. Molly, I really need you to pick up your toys and help me clean up a bit, okay? You're getting older now, and you can help. What? No! I don't want to help! No! Molly, come on. You're four years old now. You can start helping Mommy. Don't you want to help Mommy? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll help Mommy. Come here. I want to show you something in the elevator. Oh, really? Is it a surprise? Yeah, I made it just for you, Mom. Go inside. <laughs> Molly, where did you get that axe? Mo Molly, what are you doing? Ha ha ha. I'm just breaking the elevator, Mom, so you can't get out. Molly! What? Stop that, right? Molly, let me out of here right this instant. Finally, I don't have to deal with my mom nagging me to do anything. And I can watch my episode. Molly, I... Molly, I see you. Molly! Mom, can't hear you. <sighs> Honey, I'm home. Dan, I'm in here. What's that? Wait, Laura, how are you stuck in the elevator? Ask your daughter. She... She trapped me in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is going to be kind of fun to watch. Molly, did you trap your mom in the elevator? Um, well, uh, yes, she did. Molly. Okay, time out for you. Go sit on the stool. What? I don't want to. Sit on it, Molly. Fine, but I'm standing here. Molly, that was very bad behavior. What's got into you? I don't want to behave. Whoa. Holy smokes! <laughs> Dan, are you going to let me out of here? Dan! Dan! Hey, Molly. Um, Thanks so much for coming on this date with me. Yeah, I I'm glad we could come too. I really have been wanting to come out on a date with you for like the entire school year. You have? Well, wow, that's really sweet. So, uh, what kind of ice cream did you get? I got bubble gum because they didn't have the one I normally like, which is mint chocolate chip, and it's so annoying! Oh, wow. Uh, sorry about that, Molly. Yeah, it's fine. It's not your fault. Huh, I think I have to go to the bathroom, though. Whoa! Molly, wh wh what's going on? You grew a, a tail! What? No, I didn't. Don't be ridiculous. Yes, you did. It's like a long, well, demon tail. Um, well, uh, let's get going, Molly. I think I have to go home. Sure, I'll walk with you. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, come on, I want to. Oh, he's going to ask me to prom. I just know it. He's going to ask me. Okay, Luke, I'm ready to go. Okay, see if you can keep up. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to catch you, Luke. Molly, the, the tail thing is a little weird. I'm sorry, I, I don't know why it's there, but I'll see the doctor tomorrow. I'm sure it's just some sort of weird growth or something. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, looks like the date is over. <laughs> uh, don't you have anything to ask me, Luke? What? Um, no, I'm sorry, Molly. I don't want to go on a second date. What? You, you don't? Um, no. But you're supposed to ask me to prom! <laughs> oh, Molly, you pushed me in the pool! That's what you get for not asking me to prom! <laughs> Whoa! You breathe fire? You really are a demon! Another day, another dollar. Huh, I've been working at this bank for 10 years. I feel like I should get a bigger raise than what they give me every year. Well, what are you gonna do? It's a job. 
Hello! Are you even working today? Uh, duh, I'm your customer. Um, yeah, I'm working. I'm actually logging in something into the computer. Cheapers, impatient much? How can I help you? Uh, I have to, uh, take some money off of my savings and put it into my checking. Oh, you know you can do that online, right? I didn't want to do it online. I want to do it here with the bank teller. God, you are so awful at your job. Seriously, how do you still even have one? What? What did you just say to me? I said you're awful at your job. That's not right. What? Why? You brute fire at me, demon! That's right. You're a rude customer. I want to know what else. I quit. It's about time everybody in Brookhaven saw my true nature. I'm a now I'm gonna go get in some demon trouble. Oh yeah. Hmm. What could I do first? Is that a school bus? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna steal it and drive away. None of the kids will have a ride home from school. <laughs> and now I'm going to crash it into the arcade. <laughs> Crashing it again. Ugh. <laughs> Being a demon is fun. Oh, I'm so old. I can't believe I'm actually dying. How can I be dying? This is terrible. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have uncontrollable gas. That's what happens when you're old. Hello, Molly. I'm an angel. What? I'm hallucinating now. I'm seeing an angel. Oh, I need to get out of here. No, you're not hallucinating. I'm a real angel. And I'm here to offer you one last chance to turn good. What? Who wants your rotten, stinky chances? Okay, you might not be the stinky one. <coughs> oh, did you just fart? Yeah, what about it? Don't angels ever fart? Um, no, not really. We always smell like roses and sunshine. Wow, sounds boring. What? No, being an angel is amazing. You could turn over from your evil ways before you die. Would you like to? Huh? What? No, not really. What? No, no, you don't understand. You're evil. You, you don't want to die evil, do you? I want to die exactly how I am, myself. But yourself is a demon. I've been a demon my whole life. Yeah, and now I'm giving you the chance to be good, an angel like me. Look at my beautiful wings. Don't they make you kind of jealous? Not really. Are you sure? I mean, look at them. I'm sure. I've got one thing to say to you, angel. Hopefully it's not another one of those stinky farts. Ew. No, no, no. This is what I have to say to you. Once a demon, always a demon. <laughs>